Hi guys, my name is Bobby and welcome to this episode of Fish and Grills. I'm here with the guys to show them and you how I make my version of Japanese style open omiyaki and taco yaki. Hope y'all stick around. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Tuning in for this episode of Fishing Girls! Welcome back everybody. Okay, we have Bobby over here. All right, so what are we gonna start prepping on first? Uh, today we're starting with the okonomiyaki. It's uh, Osako style okonomiyaki batter, which the beauty of, of it really is that it involves a whole host of it, just different vegetables and things that you love. Uh, at its core, you really just need the Japanese style yamaimo root, uh, cabbage, tenkasu, looks like Rice Krispie treats, and then you can just add whatever vegetables and flavors and seasoning you like. But the real beauty of the dish is that you can just add all different types of vegetables. And I like to add a lot of different color, contrast of colors and textures and flavors in my dishes.
All right, so today guys, we're gonna start with uh, real simple. One cup of all-purpose flour. Half a cup of ground up bonito flakes. Quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Quarter teaspoon of sugar. Oops, I get this sugar. Uh, maybe a little more sugar, I'm okay. A little flavor. About a half cup or so of tenkasu, which is a tempura batter. Tempura batter bits. Kind of looks like Rice Krispie Treats. It's about a half cup would be perfect. And that's the dry ingredients. Oh, salt and pepper and oh, black pepper. Dash. And of course, kosher salt. Doesn't matter the brand. Again, just a smidge, not too much. Okay, so that would be it for the dry ingredients here. And then we go with a cup and a half or so of Japanese dashi. So the soup base. This is really what adds that kind of savory flavor to is the that batter. Is that like a type of broth? Yeah, it's a Japanese broth. Common in like a, just any supermarket here in Hawaii will sell it. It's really easy to find. Okay. And then we ground up about half of this. About a, an inch or so or a little bit more than an inch and a half or so of Yomaimo root. It's, this is harder to find but it's around here in Hawaii I got mine at the local times here um, this adds a sort of fluffiness to the texture of the batter so it's actually really important if you can find it and you said it's more like a start like a more like a potato kind of thing um it's a yam or a root oh, okay so it does add a certain a different consistency so when you grind it up it comes out like a paste as you will see real easy if you have a good microplaner So it looks kind of gummy and sticky and well oh, it's like almost slimy in a yeah, sense, yeah it's very slimy but it does add a lot to the dish it's like a slimy potato <laughs> cool and that's it you don't need the whole root i mean but just enough to add a sort of elasticity to the uh batter in and of itself yeah. trusty little whisk stir it all up that for the most part is the batter simple enough you just start throwing in your vegetables starting with the cabbage which is the main ingredient I like to use red onions in mine just for the contrast of colors and flavor I put two onions in this batch but usually you can do one or two it's kind of to taste I have a preference for onions and then do a couple cans of corn again the contrast of flavors and goes well with the dish a whole bag of sprouts here local mung green mung bean sprouts again whatever vegetables you like kind of an all dealer's choice as far as the vegetables really you can just do it with just cabbage if you feel like it and just get in there mix and make sure the batter spreads out it doesn't look like a lot of batter but it always evens out with the vegetables it does not need a whole lot of that batter it always looks like a lot less batter than you would for the amount of vegetables you're putting in there 
that's completely normal now i like spice so personally just to add an additional bit of flavor and color i use these red uh anaheim chili peppers that i find again at the local supermarket here they're not super common and really not super necessary to the dish but again personal preference for me i like spice so i don't even take the seeds out of it which again normally you'd want to take the seeds out if you want to keep the spice levels down but they add a really great flavor to these to the whole dish but a bit of heat so definitely be careful good kick good flavor and it helps blend everything out yeah just add my own kind of personal touch to the dish with that spice but yeah you just kind of mix it by hand get in there have fun with it just kind of scrunch it up make sure the batter evenly coats now when you have all your vegetables in the dish you can mix in your proteins if you'd like and uh you know i've, I've done everything from garlic shrimp i also um i've done some octopus and taco and today we are using nenue diced up easy to mix it's a little protein and there's a little flavor to it again not super necessary but you know, you can do everything you want. So everything is necessary if you want. That's what this is about. So likewise, you just mix it all in. Same thing with the vegetables and everything. And again, this can be a 100% vegetarian dish. There's a lot of substitutes here. You don't need to add any fish or meat to the dish, but you know, everybody's gonna have, be able to make their own thing. That's really the beauty of the whole thing. It's, it's whatever you feel like in your dish. Just a good mix. And that right there is pretty much the Okonomiyaki batter. Uh, tune in, we're gonna fry this up in a little bit. Let's add just a little bit more to this. So I'm gonna cut these. A little bit more. Perfect. Hey guys, uh, I forgot one very important ingredient, eggs, uh, four eggs. One other ingredient that we're shy of that's commonly found in this dish is Japanese style pickled ginger, benishoga. Uh, we were out at the store today and we're not able to find any today So we're gonna forego that specific item, but it uh, does bring in a lot of color and flavor to the dish You can find some just a little bit it Makes it goes a long way Eggs do not forget the eggs that is an important part of the batter Right, we're gonna get started on the okonomiyaki and you mentioned already there was two different types yeah yep there's two distinct styles of okonomiyaki uh, i prefer the osaka style which is what i usually base because it's a mix and blend of different vegetables right into the batter directly uh, the other distinctive style is the hiroshima style where they tend to layer things and keep things separated and you add them add a layer as you continue to cook and they also use things like noodles yakisobo noodles and fried egg uh, oh, okay. common in the hiroshima style but I've definitely done that style as well. It's, it's really good as well. I just like the free form version of the Osaka. It's just much simpler and fun. Uh, today we're doing a version that will include some garlic shrimp. So we're going to start with some basic oil and butter for the shrimp. We prepped some garlic shrimp. 
ready to go. Just gonna put a, just a little bit, just to add a little extra flavor to it. Uh, and add some butter. Go with it, just to add some flavor. We'll let that cook for a bit before we add the batter. Perfect. So this you only cook for like a few minutes. Yeah, just not too long, maybe a minute, maybe two. Okay, cook it on a medium heat just to get it started because it will continue to cook in the batter in and of itself. So you don't want to overcook the shrimp too much. You just need to start the process. And the batter goes right on top. Batter will go right on top so you get the flavor. This will be a, a, almost a Hiroshima style with a, a small layer. What's up? Alright, so it's ready for that batter. Just drop a couple of spoonfuls right on top, get a good cover. Right over it. Just want to get kind of a small pancake style bit. A little bit more. Cook it the okay. Let it all brown up. Just like a regular pancake, you let it cook for uh, about a minute, minute and a half before you flip. Nice and easy. Ooh, okay. So now we're gonna try to flip this Okonomiyaki. That's a pancake. Okay. Under eye. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't need to be perfect. We gather it up. Okay. Now we're cooking on the other side. Now you can already start to layer the last few things now. Normally you would use, there's a okonomiyaki sauce. Uh, I bought the wrong sauce, it looks like this, so be real careful with what you're buying. This is actually a katsu sauce, which is similar, but has a little bit more of a bite than you would normally want in your actual okonomiyaki sauce. Now this is an absolute must. It's your cutie, your Japanese male. Essential to the dish. And then you have your onori. Really fine seaweed flakes. Just sprinkle it on. Three little layers. I think it smells. I know, I was oh. gonna say, it smells so good. The smell onion? is just coming up. Oh my god. And you can already turn off the heat. I can tell it's cooked through just by the smell and sound of it. And last but not least, you have your bonito flakes. You can watch them dance in the heat. I'm known for their distinctive little wave that they do as it sits in the pan. And then you uh, plate and eat, nice and easy. Not always perfect. Um, not a professional. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we have the okonomiyaki made by Bobby. Let's try it out. There's so much flavor. You can't even pinpoint what are you tasting at that time. The cabbage has a nice crunch. You taste the fish, taste the shrimp, that topping, the flakes. 10 out of 10. Grade A. Super delicious. Let me get a piece of this goodness. That's good stuff, Bobby. What's up? Rashi Yeah, Bobby. Rashi Go. Courtesy of Fishing Girls, boys. Let's go.
All right, now we're gonna get started on the takoyaki. What we got, Bobby? Well, the takoyaki batter, much like the okonomiyaki batter, is very similar, but much more simplified, and it doesn't involve any vegetables in the batter in and of itself. Uh, some Tokyo style versions of it does they do add cabbage to the batter, but that's completely optional. Uh, so like the other dish, it starts with a cup of flour. Again, a half a cup of ground up bonito flakes. Two tablespoons of sugar. And a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And salt. And pepper to taste. Cup and a half of Japanese dashi. And this time around, we're not gonna forget the eggs. So, two eggs. And takoyaki is a famous street food in Japan. Yep, it's very popular uh, from everywhere from Osaka to Tokyo and all the other provinces that uh, at the moment I can't name off the top of my head. <laughs> a see spoon, and now we mix. So this is basically a very savory pancake batter that's the base of the takoyaki itself. That is pretty much it for the batter. Just mix it really well and you're all set. We're ready to fry. Alright, we're gonna get started on the takoyaki. This is called a takoyaki pan. Takoyaki pan. <laughs> nice and easy here. So, all it is is a cast iron pan. Um, there's a lot of variations of this, but basically it's the same. Some are bigger. I actually prefer one a little bigger than this, but this is what I have. This is what we're gonna use. It's nice and easy. Uh, really, the key is a lot of oil. It's, you're frying the batter. So, you can never really do too much oil with this. It's nice and simple. Get it nice and hot, turn on your fire, that helps. Okay, okay so we're gonna get a plate of cabbage. Yep. It's gonna help to absorb the excess oil from the balls as they come out of the fire. So you just have a uh, nice little bed of cabbage for it to sit on at the end. But we're just gonna have that ready, so when we come off, we're gonna be good to go. Okay, so just gonna start with some batter. Uh, you're gonna fill a little bit. Oh, should stir. Make sure it's stirred up. Good. Like the other, you add your tenkasu. The same tempura flakes. So uh, tempura batter. Green onion. Well, so uh, another key ingredient which was missing from the last and is missing from this one is again Benny Shoga, the pickled ginger. But last but not least is of course the taco. You want nice good sized chunks, shop it in. And really you can fill it with anything. It does not have to be taco. You can use garlic shrimp like we did in the last dish. Fill it with sausage, cheese is one of my favorites. But taco is a uh, classic. Well, this takes a little practice getting used to as you turn. It uh, doesn't always go on the first try. 
won't always be pretty, but that's perfectly all right. Now this is a takoyaki pick here, but I also sometimes just use a regular ice pick. They do the same thing. It's just a matter of you just constantly break it up on the sides. You run it down. There's little little channels on the, between the spread. So you break it up and then you turn. And constantly turn and flip it. And tuck. Now, so you can use two. This is what I do. Some people use one or two. But you kind of tuck and spin and roll so you get that ball that we're all used to all right so it does take practice to, to get the balls it's a lot of spinning and constant movement and don't be too concerned that they're not perfect balls or spheres or anything you know um, it's just for home and for your friends and family and loved ones and you know they all taste good and you top it off always Japanese mayo and again there is an actual uh, takoyaki sauce but this is what I have and it's actually pretty good Got your again your al nori. And then bonito flakes and green onions. And there we go. Alright. Let's try one of these. So there is so much flavors. It was real similar to this. The green is all the same. The top is the same. But it has a has a different texture with the surprise taco in the middle. The taco is nice, soft, and tender. The batter just complements it so well. So delicious. Thank you so much, Bobby. Oh. <laughs> right on. Oh my god. Thanks again for joining us today, we had a blast. Thanks again, Bobby, that was so delicious, right on. Oh, thank you just for having me here. I'm happy to be here, as always. Good times, good grinds, and good people. And always stay tuned for the next episode of Fish and Grill! <laughs> <laughs>